Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Welcome, welcome once more to all our viewers to the prayer room. Songwriter declares God is here. He's here to fill your needs. He's here to deliver. He's here to set you free. He's here to lift up your spirit. He's here to bless. He's here to save. Amen. This afternoon, we want to look quickly at 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16 and 17 where the Bible declares that the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and the trump of God. It says, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. And we which are alive and remain shall be caught up in the clouds, together in the clouds to meet him in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord come to remind everyone this morning that Jesus is coming back to earth again. Jesus is coming back for the church. The preaching of the gospel will soon be over. The dispensation of grace will soon be closed. Salvation, salvation, amen, will no longer be free. And so I encourage every heart to live a life of holiness, live a life of holiness so that when the rapture comes, you can be included in the number when the saints go marching in because Jesus is coming back. He's not sending an angel. Bible declares that he's coming back himself. Amen. The Lord himself is coming back. He's coming back and he's coming back with a shout. And so we wait. We await that return of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. All of us should be anticipating to hear the sound of the trumpet. Church of the living God, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, may I inform you today that to be left behind would have meant that you are eternally separated from God. To miss the rapture is to be eternally lost. To miss the rapture, amen, glory be to God, there isn't a second chance. You have only one chance to make it in the rapture. And so you have to leave all the baggages and the weights and everything that easily beset you and cling to the arms of Jesus. So when the trumpet sound that you will be included in the number, Jesus is coming back to earth. Time shall be no more. The preaching of the gospel will soon be over and the church will soon be gone. I encourage you, I encourage you, brothers and sisters, friends and family, I encourage you to stay at the feet of Jesus. Seek the face of God. Walk holy. The Bible is clear that the unjust will be unjust still. The filthy will be filthy still. The righteous will be righteous still. And the holy will be holy still. Make sure that you are in a place of readiness. The cry is to be ready. So when he makes his entrance, amen, glory be to God, that we will be included in the number when the saints go marching in. He declares in his word that I go to prepare a place for you, that where I am there you may be also said, in my father's house, there are many mansions. And if it were not so, I would not have told you. Amen. He's gone to prepare a place for us. It's a better place. It is a better place than where we are. And so we cannot afford to miss this opportunity. You out there, you cannot afford to miss this opportunity. I admonish you. I admonish you to look to Jesus, be serious about your salvation. If you are a backslider, return to the cross. Return to Jesus. If you are unsaved, you need to get right with God. If you are a Christian, you need to walk holy, stay holy and be righteous for Jesus is soon to return. Amen, friends and family. I hope you are blessed this afternoon by something that I've said. I encourage you. I really encourage you. Take it seriously. Amen. It's not a joke. It's not a joke. He's coming back. It's a reality that Jesus is coming back. God bless you. 
God bless you. See you next time on this same platform. Grace of God be with you always. Amen. Bye-bye.